leadership know they were going to be at his office Tuesday afternoon. I don't know what he said, but they came out of the meeting with the president. Even senators were saying, oh, I think we'll get health care vote, you know, in July. I think right. maybe even before July 4th. Right. And I'm going, this is okay. This is good. This is a good thing. They hadn't dealt with this guy before. So anyway, but thank you. One thing I would ask you on behalf of all Republican office holders, whether it's the county judge, whether it's any of us, anybody that's elected, we're getting buried in the media. Letters to the editor, online, Facebook and stuff, we're just getting hammered. And we need y'all to speak up. You see a, a nasty letter about any of us in any paper, please respond. Get somebody, if you've responded, get somebody else to respond. Because it begins to look like, you know, yeah, the majority is really upset with us and they don't want us. And, and you lose credibility when nothing is heard but negative. Yeah. So that's what's out there. We're getting beat up. I didn't hear it at the time, but his producer sent it to me so I could hear it. It was pretty bad, and I emailed him that. And uh, anyway, because we did you, did you listen to Rush today? Because uh, at one point I got in back in the car, I got now I got back in, and I heard him say, "Yeah, I, I had emailed uh, a sitting member of of Congress uh, that I had the impression that some of the House and Senate leadership had a wait on, in quotes, wait on Pence um, ideology. And he said, if you heard that, and I, well, I hadn't, anyway, I heard him say, I wrote a sitting member of Congress and said, I, I'm hearing that there may be a, just what I said, and, and uh, I emailed back, and he said, and the member wrote back, well, no, I hadn't really heard that, but I'll, I'll check around. I hadn't heard anybody talk like that. And then he, he said, he emailed me back later and said, Russ, you're right. That appears to be what's going on. They think Trump's going to, there are people, I'm not saying specifically, there are people that think Trump's not going to make it, Democrats and some Republicans. And we know Mike, and he was one of us. And so let's just wait and not do any of these big things until Pence gets in there. But if we don't do them while Trump is there, they're not going to get done. They're really not. Right. And people are going to be furious and they're going to throw us out That's because right. of the broken promises. And I know there were a lot of Republicans mad at me because I didn't immediately uh, get on board with the health care bill. But I promise you, I promise you, I, I read it, I studied it. And I'm telling you, if we had passed that bill without any change, I know they said, oh, the Senate will change it up. I don't think they would have. I think they would have grabbed it and passed it because it did nothing but ensure that Obamacare was going to be here for the, for the rest of my life. If we had passed that, we would definitely, a year from now, be looking at losing the majority in the House and Senate, and that always spills over people getting mad at Republicans in the House and they're doing it in the Senate and they're doing a good job here in Texas. When they get mad at them, when get, people get mad at us. So anyway, um, so please understand, I was not being a naysayer like some have sent in. I'm always, no, I would never support, no. I just knew we had to help do something to bring premiums down and we did. And um, anyway, I was working to try to make the bill better. Now, Mark Meadows and Jim Jordan, dear friends, they have been asking me for a couple of years if I would join the Freedom Caucus. And I'm going, guys, you've got a rule, 80% agree on a position, then everybody has to vote that position. And if, if this, if Freedom Caucus had been in existence, when we voted on Boehner in January 2015, then I would have had to vote for Boehner. And he would still be in office if I had voted for Boehner. 
uh, but because we got 24 and there were only two or three in the Freedom Caucus that voted against Banner, most of them voted for him. Uh, and anyway, what really got me in February, of course, Sean Hannity kept saying, Louie, they need you in the Freedom Caucus. Uh, Sean, anyway. Um, but Mark and Jim said, Louie, you don't understand. You will make our backbone stronger if you're in there. Our guys have caved on basically every position we've taken. We need you to help strengthen their backbones. And there, there's some, some tough backbones in there already, I'm telling you. They, they've got some wonderful people. But uh, anyway, uh, I am glad I joined. It is a fantastic group of guys, and we held our ground. There were some that caved and tried to suck up the people as a result. But but the group overall held, and as a result, we got a better bill, and as a result, we at least have still got a shot right. Right. at trying to reform. I, I'd like to say repeal and replace. There's too much that isn't being repealed. But at least it's a start, and it wasn't a start if we passed that first bill. So anyway, there I did it. I talked too long. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you very much.